Hey guys and girls, White Ninja Art here, back with some more gaming videos and today bringing you something totally different. Um, so today I'm bringing you some um, Hero Siege. So, as you guys know, recently I unlocked some G2A stuff. Um, some of the games on there are alright, but um, I come across this little beauty. It wasn't part of G2A, but it was pretty good. Um, now, what this th these videos are going to be based around is sort of guides. Um, well, actually, that's all they are going to be based around. They're going to be based around level 150 guides um, about what um, potentially can be achieved from each character and what you should be um, doing on the way to 150 because doing some lo uh, looking into some guides is not actually that many and um, some people are a bit confused and a bit lost on what should be done where and how it should all be implemented, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and stuff like that. So this is going to be a guide on the marksman, um, just because this is basically my best class, um, and this is the one I've actually placed the placed the most, yeah, played the most hours on. So, um, as you guys know, um, recently patch the new patch come out 1.6.3.1, I think it is, um, where they've just changed a few things, and one of them, one of the biggest ones being. Um, uh, being in the wormhole where you can't go in unless you're level 150 which means you can't power level anymore so you can't power level your characters or can't have someone power level you um, to 150 so that means you're gonna have to do some work uh, to get there so I was actually in the middle of power level in some of I think the nomad um, and it got uh, the bug got the bug the bloody thing got put in just as I was doing it so in this video I'm just gonna quickly demonstrate what power can be um, be achieved um, with the um, marksman. Now I would do a wormhole, but I don't even know if I've got any keys. Um, so I will just do a destruction uh, for now. I'll do a wormhole as well, or a quick, quick one, because I don't want to um, waste too much time doing it. Um, but I do. I will spawn basically all the waves um, all at once, and just to demonstrate the power that can be um, built from the marksman. Uh, so as you can see, I can pretty much one-shot everything in this. It's, it, it should be no surprise for anyone who's actually um, uh, who's played like uh, into late game. It should be no surprise that this is easily possible. Um, this is by far one of the fastest classes for wave clear in the game, like um, at least like for uh, destruction. Not quite as much for wormhole, but um, I'll explain the difference later on. Um, Still, there's still some somewhere. Where are they? Let's have a look. Oh, stuck down here. Um, yeah. So for those who don't know, uh, this is a um, like a an AOE character. It can be made into a single target uh, bursty uh, marksman, but it does require a very very certain item criteria. Um, which cannot be obtained very easily and it definitely not until late game um, so that's something that I'll uh, show you guys shortly well I won't show you because I don't have it but um, yeah I'll definitely explain it so I didn't have any relics there I'll just uh, oh my worm okay so that's helpful uh, don't have any relics so I just wanted to show the power of it without relics or anything like that um, so that is how quick you can actually destroy things and you can actually easily easily clear the game um, if you really need to, if you do have friends, you can easily boost them through. Because um, I think that's going to be a big problem for people now, uh, especially now they can't level. Um, so what I am going to go through is some of the items and some of the skills that you should be uh, looking into when building. Now these, this is based on a level 150. Uh, however, uh, to be tweaked, um, this can be uh, slightly changed. Um, so obviously, as you progress and start, you will only have one skill point. Uh, definitely recommend putting it into disengage. Um, absolutely must at low levels. Disengage is a fantastic skill, and it actually does quite a, quite a lot of damage. Um, don't really use it so much now. I think the one time I do use it is if I get frozen. You can still use this ability. Um, when frozen, and you can also use this ability to jump gaps, um, so it's really, really helpful. Might be a bug that might get changed. Not entirely sure, 
but definitely very good and um, a brilliant skill to start with. Um, once you have completed that, you do have your homing rockets, pretty good, do some decent damage, more so late game than early game, so I wouldn't be too excited about that one. However, multi shot is where it's all at. You want to max this one out, um, get as many points in multi shot as you can, get as many projectiles as you can. Really, really important late game if you go to the other build, which I'll explain later. Um, then on top of that obviously you got multi shot turrets now this is probably going to be your main source of damage throughout the game uh, multi shot turrets are absolutely fantastic and they do a great deal of damage um, by far some of the best damage in the game um, now I am just going to quickly look for a certain um, item name or something because it's really important uh, I might not be able to find it just yet. Um, so when you are playing, obviously uh, there is a, an an item that you can get that can enhance um, your multi shot. Um, I can't remember the exact name for it. I'll have a look for it in, in a second. And uh, basically, what it does is it amplifies it into one arrow. Uh, now you don't have the area of effect, but you do have the single target damage, which is huge, uh, which is really important. But uh, I'll come on to that at some later points. Um, so you have a grenade throw, which it, it does a lot of damage but it doesn't you don't really use it too often well it use it itself is not my cast so uh, it's definitely sticking at least one point in there when you start maxing your strength out it's gonna start um, really doing some damage now landmine hmm landmine what can I say about this to be honest I don't like it it's a personal trait you don't need the stun you can jump out of nearly any situation the stun's useless and um, the only thing it's good for really is planting to put down for bosses when they spawn um, comes at its own risk though because by doing that um, you could potentially uh, build it on top um, like on top of your own um, what's it called like you could get the portal to cast on top which is really really um, a really big problem to be honest and um, so definitely must be careful of that um, so it is good for early levels, not so good late, you don't really need it, you can get around pretty quickly anyway. Um, Arrows Rampage, absolutely a must, it's such a brilliant item, um, not only does it do quite a lot of damage, um, it actually can clear the stage for you pretty well, um, so if stuff like boxes and grass and all that rubbish, um, which you really don't want to do you get this use it and it actually clears the stage off you really well um, and then agility I'd recommend maxing this as well because it gives you a nice buffer speed and it gives you a really good um, damage boost and um, so definitely worth doing I wish they put some sort of synergy with this maybe energy or something like that but they haven't which is a bit weird because the points at 174 points not a massive amount really when you start looking at um, thousand like and you start getting into the thousands and stuff like that it's not really a big boost but um, yeah we'll see um, so that's uh, what you want to be looking at for skills um, as you basically start on that um, when you get later only put one point in it you'll can restart in your menus and stuff like that but definitely do that uh, one point in grenade uh, max multi shot Max, uh, get close to maxing multi shot turret, uh, arrows rampage, and agility. Uh, I would skip landmines and then start putting points and critical strike. Uh, when you're attacking really fast, it won't matter what level that's at because you'll hit fast enough anyway, especially if you're lying around 25%, it won't matter too much. Um, the one thing I would say to worry about and do be careful of um, definitely is um, multi shot turrets. They are quite expensive to cast, and if you don't have the mana or the mana regen, um, you definitely will not be able to cast these so make sure you do um, watch how many points you put into it now um, that item is um, called Colossal Arrow uh, by the way for this it's the trait that you get in one of your items um, there's another item that you do want which I will talk about now alright so in your items um, what you want to be looking at is obviously your max weapon um, <laughs> This is going to change continuously um, as you progress. <coughs> this change this is the best one I've found so far. It's not bad, not the best. I have seen some that are slightly better, but the strength on it wasn't quite as good. Um, so I did change it. You will generally want to max strength on this, um, potentially taking a little bit of energy if you are struggling. Um, so, in the yeah, so 
in the armor, stamina, all stats, talent, so that's health and armor. Um, possibly could take something else here, maybe energy, um, but more of a tanky stat than anything else. Helmet, stamina again. This could be changed for strength if you find a good one. Uh, all stat, talents. Teleports, useless, not for my character, but turret master is for me, and that is where I can place eight turrets down uh, rather than four, which is a huge, huge increase. So, definitely look for something like this. Um, it's the same uh, in the same slot as seen, uh, just there. These, the um, you can also get the other one, which is the uh, colossal arrow. So, look for that as well. Um, boots, strength, move speed, pretty important on the marks when you do need to be able to get around pretty quickly. Um, all stats, now you can either go for all talents, but in, for me, um, I definitely, definitely prefer the 18 multi shot turrets. Um, so, you know, it can be switched, but that's for me, and I quite enjoy this one, so I'm definitely going to go for that. Um, uh, so, arm guards, or gloves even sorry and um, strength all stats and then in this case multi shot that will change depending on what you find um if you find stuff that's more relevant to your build then definitely go for that if you don't like multi shot or you or stuff like that obviously i want colossal arrow so more multi shot it will equal better because what happens is all your multi shots into one arrow and then obviously that damage is amplified um so the um 30 percent chance to hit nine projectiles but it's each arrow is increased by 46.5%. So if you put nine arrows into that, it's going to be huge, huge ramp, ramped up of damage. So it's going to be massive. Uh, I'm just currently waiting to try and get the colossal one. Um, Amulet basically just max stats or strength. It's probably a definite. You can either go energy or stamina. I would recommend stamina just because the health is really nice um, and here's really high stats on it all stats um, and well, I've got six homing rockets but preferably you could get um, talents there as well but I don't have a red and um, so that's something that I need to look into but for now that's my best one um, and then your charm you want to be looking at strength then once again you want to be going health rather than energy unless you don't have the energy for this uh, all stats uh, all talents uh, and then this one's got experience gain which is still pretty nice I suppose especially when you start killing a lot of people so that's basically the build in a nutshell um, and definitely how I have built it and it is working for me and um, the only problem is uh, wormholes obviously the thing to go to um, but you can obviously do wormholes I will demonstrate it I don't know what level I'm actually at so I'm at level 10 and um, the only problem is I don't have single target damage I have mass damage which is useful but not quite um, you always have to watch out for the one shots and things like that which is really annoying but we'll see how we get on so I'll quickly and it just happens to be the freeze one so that's brilliant Um so what you want to do uh, for those who don't aren't too sure on the marksman is generally create your turrets uh, in your zone um, which where I've got eight as you can see them all laid out <coughs> continuously use your um, ra uh, arrow rampage I can't remember what it's called I think that's what it's called arrow rampage the one that goes across the screen um, which will do continuous damage to everybody um, and then basically just use your auto attacks on top of that um, so continuously plant your uh, turrets because they do run out um, and then this is a good way to be able to actually um, do something with it and you can actually attack a lot of people Right, so because I do have like pretty much infinite mana regen um, on my item because my item's pretty good, and this just so happens to be uh, range. Re no, brilliant. Right, so you do get ones that are um, immune to range, which are really, really frustrating. They have some weird bug where they. Oh, some of them have weird bugs. Some of them just don't even work. What the hell? Like this. What is he doing there? Um, so there is uh, quite a lot of bugs in this game, so you do have to be very, very careful of that. Right, there we go. Um, so as you can see there, I was just jumping walls. Uh, I don't think I can jump that one. This is what I mean by frozen. So you can jump the little walls. Um, really useful, especially later on when you want to get some crates and boxes. Uh, I think there's only a few characters that can actually jump. And this is what I mean when I say uh, use the jump when you're frozen. The reason being um, is you can get away from them. Um, not being able to move is the marksman is probably your biggest downfall. So you definitely need to keep that in mind. 
But as you can see, I can easily kill most things, and if I do have bombs and grenades next to them, it does do like a lot of damage. Um, and normally, you can just kill most of them anyway. Right, let's have a look where we're going. All right, so hopefully I can do this in time. We'll see. Um, like I say, this is based on killing a lot of things at a lot of times, so you want to take a, a character with you if you play multiplayer. Uh, that has the single target DPS, so for um, like the mobs with a lot of health and a lot of uh, lot of damage, so you can you can focus on killing all the small ones off while they focus on the big one. Now I know they're bringing in the void soon. <coughs> um, I only play on local at the minute because the servers aren't too great. Um, I was play I've been playing with one of my housemates, so we've been playing um, together and just doing it that way. However, um, we might consider going onto um, the servers and playing that way but it will mean we'll have to start all over again which is obviously a big problem because we've spent quite a lot of time leveling up um, so we'll just have to see how that goes but uh, this is based off local um, now the only problem with the void is supposedly you need to have four players um, to be able to actually complete the void so I don't know how that's going to work for local play I'm hoping that I can actually do it still but we'll see yeah, it's got a lot of time. I'm hoping I get Gabriel as well, actually, because I can give a hint on that. Because um, I had some problems killing Gabriel at first. So I thought he was an absolute pain in the ass. Um, yeah, yeah, good. Um, but he's not actually not as hard as I thought. <laughs> it just turns out he can be a bit awkward sometimes. Um, so this shouldn't take too long. Uh, the only problem is, as you can see, when I shoot my arrows, I actually miss about five or six of my arrows. Oh, so this here. So this move here can instantly kill you. So what you have to do is stand behind the pillars. Um, each pillar will defend you. If you don't, it'll instantly kill you one shot, and regardless of how strong you actually think you are, um, which is really ridiculous. So not too happy about that. Um, so that's basically the marksman in a nutshell. I didn't want this video to go on too long—17 minutes or something like that. So it's not too bad. Um, I don't think I got anything decent there. It was pretty rubbish, to be honest. Um, I just wanted to explain some of the traits and some of the things that Marks has and how good he can actually be. Um, and definitely, um, plus, well, definitely uh, good for a team. Um, definitely be able to do an AOE damage. Um, so definitely worth picking up. If I was to play, I'd definitely play him again. Um, I think the Marksman is actually really fun, and it's it's really really strong, to be honest. And I'm sure later on it's going to be a lot stronger once I get a few more items that can really. Um, ramp up his damage a little bit um, so yeah definitely looking forward to getting him a bit stronger well guys hope you enjoyed this short well medium to <laughs> medium length video on the marksman in Hero Siege um, something a bit different but I think um, some small guides on different um, characters in the game is going to be important because not a lot of people seem to have good guides out and the wiki is not the greatest um, it's a bit mess a bit messy so I will um, we'll start looking at doing some more um, videos on guides and stuff like that and, and ideas and where you want to be going and stuff. Hope you enjoyed this video guys, leave a comment below and just let me know what you think and if this has helped you in any way and I'll see you next time for some more gaming videos.